Okay, the flipper tab is a little small. That's my only complaint with it. <laughs> That's perfect. The best tech kendo. Frankie, we recently recommended this. Yeah, we sure did. Despite its small flipper tab. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's really cool, and it's a good, clean knife with D2 steel, good flipper... <laughs> good flipping mechanism. <laughs> for $52. For $52. <laughs> this is a best tech knife. It's one of their budget side. Actually, I was looking on Blade HQ yeah. and looking at the lowest price to highest price. They've got a bunch of knives at exactly $52, $52 but yes. that's the lowest you're going to find a best tech, at least right now. Hey guys, I want to join the party. You can't, we, I mean, he's more expensive though. But he's only sixty-three dollars. He's nine dollars more. He's he's gonna slum it with these guys here. Yeah. No, it's still <laughs> still gonna be in the budget class. But I just wanted to bring this one out because it's awesome. And there's a new one that's I don't know, maybe challenging it a little bit for me. For yeah. Me, me right. too. This is the Hornet by Best Tech. Also in that value range, but at $63, so it's $10 more. We'll explain. It makes a little bit of sense that it's slightly more expensive yeah. and why it's worth it. But yeah, check this thing out. Well, first of all, check out the solid gold backspacer. That's actually, why it's more expensive right there. I actually only really started appreciating that today. I love it. It looks so cool together. We're starting to see gold. And you know what? We're seeing gold on some of the cheaper knives. You would mm -hmm. think that it would be super tacky. It works. <laughs> No. It works. I yeah, love it. it does. Okay. Yeah. Here it is in green and black. G10. There. There we go. But look at this aggressive thing. Okay. Yeah, I really like it. And listen. Look at that crazy sheep's foot. It's a. It's technically a modified sheep sheep's foot blade, if I can say it. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. What do you think of that blade shape, though? I absolutely love it. This knife has so much personality. I really just. I bonded with him like immediately. Yeah, let's get the kendo out of the picture. Sorry, kendo, we still love you, but eh, you're boring. Oh my god, oh, so, <laughs> such a smooth knife. Now the reason I'm thinking they call it a modified sheep's foot is really this this cut out here with all these jimps. Yeah, <laughs> this knife has jimping for days. It does. It does actually have jimping all over it, and it's comfortable too at the same time. Yeah. All right, but yeah, listen. Oh, there. snaps into place. Solid detent, all right? Excellent flipping action. And a slightly bigger flipper tab, frankly. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. All right, what's the steel they're using? Well, same thing D2, there. D2, yeah. magical D2. You guys saw that I middle flicked it, right? Yeah, D2, it's the magical miracle steel for the budget knives these days. Just keep it oiled. Yes, it will rust if you neglect it. It will, all right. trust we're, me. We're gonna stick with that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But look at all the jimping. There's jimping on the top, there's jimping on the back, Well, yeah. and on the underside. Let's get a close-up. Okay. Yeah, on the top here, it is in the steel liners. Frankie, can you get your hands back there? there yeah. You go. It's, it's on the steel liners, okay? And back here on the back spacer itself, right? You can just feel that. And then on the underside, towards your ring and pinky finger, same thing on the steel liners. Yeah, lots of jimping. I like it because it kind of gives it a dinosaur look to it. Dinosaur? Yes, I know his name's a hornet, but he kind of has like a dinosaur vibe to him. Okay, yeah. What about the well, the different colors we should mention? Yes, it comes it also, in... Go ahead. Go, you go ahead. Okay, this is the green. It also comes in... This is the green? Yes. <laughs> Shut up. It also comes in red that has the gold backspacer and yeah. then black which has a light blue backspacer i think it's light blue uh, i can the, the picture on blade hq was like you could just kind of see it so yeah it looked uh, looked blue kind of lighter yeah cool color combinations yeah. let me get back to this though d2 it's three and a half inches we can show that for the heck of it even though you guys can probably take my word for it well i mean technically the belly is less than three inches yeah cutting surface now, this is one of those situations where you're losing a lot of edge because of that finger choil. All right, this might be my only complaint on the knife, even though they did it right. I'm just not liking finger choils as much these days. Oh. And, and let me ask you this. Is it just me, or are we seeing more and more of them? Um, I think we are. Let's take this opportunity. You know what? I'm actually going to put in a poll. I always, I always forget audience. to do it. I always forget to do it, Frankie. I'm going to put in a poll. Okay. It should be up here. All right. Click on that. Do you like a finger choil on a knife or not? And if it's on the knife, do you find yourself using it or not? Mm, interesting. Y you can leave these in the comments, but 
I don't know. I just find that it interrupts cutting a lot of times. Sometimes I'll, I'll like the the, yeah, the blade, the slice so will slip. Like it's cardboard, and then the cardboard or the the plastic or something like that will fall up into that choil. Um, unless I hate my, it when it falls up in the choil. All up in that choil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just not comfortable. No, I'm I'm not liking them as much. But then would it look better without it? I don't know. Yeah. That's just that's my only complaint, and it's not. It, it's not really a complaint. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> no. It is a liner lock. Check that out. It's solid lock up every time. Frankie, you can hear it. Yes. We'll listen to the, the detent first. There it is. Um, I was able to shake this knife out, but I wouldn't I won't be able to do it here. You have to really swing at it. So it's a solid detent. But yeah, listen to the I mean listen to that snap. That sounds like a Medford. It has such good thwacky action. It's got thwacky action yes. and look. Frankie, I'm going to put you on the spot. I just was doing it were while you? you were talking. Oh. Yeah. She's okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they well, saw see, it. I, I put you on the spot, though. I, I meant you, you had to do it. Uh-oh. There you go. Yeah, it gives you the flipper tab and then the cutout. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's fun either way. Probably a little bit more fun with the with the middle flick. I don't know, Frankie, what else we got in it? It is chunky. It is chunkier. It's a chunky knife. Both in the width there, and then, but of course... sometimes Chunky's good. Chunky can be okay. Yeah. Right? yeah. It can be good. Look at that. You could use that as a like a glass breaker, probably. Yeah, you probably could. That exposed G10. Kind of a sharp point. It doesn't... Just while we're while we're talking about it there. It's not a hot spot in my hand at all. I don't think it, it'll be a hot spot for anybody. No. It's oh. way in. Let's see how much this Hornet weighs. Chunky beast. It's not quite a beast. You know, it's not even that bad. Five and a half? That's not that bad. It's not that bad. And he is a little thicker, too. Yeah, it's on the thicker side, okay. 0. 0.60. All right. Half inch being the average. Yeah. I, would I change it? Nope. Yeah. It feels really good in the hand. I mean, it feels it excellent. It really, really does. Which is odd because we got the XL hands over here. And then Frankie says, over here. Frankie says, look, so it's not super specific. No, and I can grip into it. Y yeah, you know, with a knife like, like this. that. That actually, so. I should say, on a knife like this, because the choil is there, and because those that that uh, that recess there with yeah. the jimps, it almost like reminds me of like a sprocket and gears. But anyway, mm -hmm. like that recess there, that makes it kind of nice in this case, like this yeah. knife. And I'll say they did the finger troll right because it's actually sized for a human sized finger. But look at that. It it, it this, feels really good for choking up, which I never do. <laughs> this would be a nice knife. Yeah. Yeah. And it's tip up, right yep. hand only. The Sorry, only way to, the only way to be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, I think we're phasing out left-hand carry knives forever. I think I think just left-hand people I think are getting phased out. Well, I, I don't want to say it like that, but I mean, yeah. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, sorry, lefties on this one, but yeah. Let's take just, a look at that. Clip. Just make it work for you because you will love it. Absolutely love it. Make it work for you. Clip's a little weird, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. And it uh, jots out there. Makes it very easy to get into the pocket. I don't know. Maybe not the friendliest on your on your pants there. It's got grip on that. You can't really see it. It's got pretty good grip on the G10. Yeah. yeah run your fingernail over it. Yeah. You guys hear that? Well, it like I said, it's kind of dinosaur-like because he has, it almost has like scales. You know, I see it. I do see what you're talking about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or like a crocodile. Hmm. Or like okay. a crocodile. Yeah. Frankie always finds the personality in something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's going to start calling him Crocky. Crocky. Yeah. Crocky Hornet. <laughs> yeah. Cool knife, though, really. Just. And even after. <laughs> I, I already knew going into it, all right, that I like this one. Where is it at? Yeah. All right. I do like the Kendo a lot. I like the Hornet maybe just a little bit more. I do too. Oh, real quick. 5263. Or. Yeah. 53, maybe. Okay. $10 more on this one is what I'm saying. Um, the reason why is what we were just talking about. There's just more sculpting. There's just more done to it. There's more. Yeah. There's more, more time. Parts. There's more time involved. And yeah, the backspacer. There's just more here than that one. Is it yeah. worth the extra ten bucks? Absolutely. Heck yeah. 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 You can see their pivot there. It is Torx. Yeah, great, great knife. What's the competition? Well, there's a lot of it these days. The Civivi backlash. I think the Civivi is probably their biggest competition right now. Yeah. Just in it general. It really is. There's the Naja. Oh, my, that one's kind of—it's kind of like a combo. It's got my edge on there. Nice. Yeah. It kind of has that same shape to him. Forty-two fifty. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that. Civivi's Civivi, I, not just with with Best Tech, but Civivi's going to be a competition for yeah. everybody. Obviously, the Kaisers. 
There's I was the, just uh, grabbing one too. Frankie's got the splinter. I've got the big lighter. I always get crap for saying it bag letter. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be big lighter. I like bag letter better. All right. Uh, what else? Artisan. Artisan's got some stuff. Frankie, that's the Apache. This yeah. one's 60 bucks. That is pretty sweet. And looking. actually, here, take a look. Sheep's foot blade. This is a normal sheep's foot blade. That's why I say that's that's kind of why it's called a modified there. And what was, this one's called a Rosu. the dong. Zong. Dong. Zong dong. Dong zong. All right. Yeah, that's right about sixty or seventy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, same price. Good choices these days. That's uh, fourteen C twenty eight M. Frankie the Swedish profile. Steel. It is kind of a standout, isn't it? He just is. Look at that personality. We were talking about this at dinner. Oh, one more. There's the. Artisan, what is that one, Cliff? I forget. Hmm. I forget which one that one is. We I just did that too. one. Too many names. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about this at dinner. Sometimes when you buy a knife online, sight unseen, like you're just going by the pictures that you see uh, on your computer screen, right? Yeah. Sometimes you buy a knife and you get it and you're maybe a little disappointed. It's not what you expected. Sometimes it's even better than you expected. Right, yeah. This one was even better. I knew I liked it from the pictures and it was just even better. It's just so mm -hmm. nice in the hand. This is an absolute standout. For yeah. the $63, if, if you like this style, I mean, it is aggressive. It is aggressive. But if you like this style, go for it. Yeah. I just, yeah. I keep saying it a lot, but I, I just really, really like it. Yep. Yep. No blade play. Um, we've seen, well, we've seen, quality control-wise, we've seen um, nothing but excellent from Best Yeah, Tech, really. yeah We've got sure. about, I think, I think we've had handled uh, a good 15 of their knives at this point. Mm-hmm. Something like and that. And they do have some good ones coming out. Oh, Frankie. I was just, we, we were talking about this, too. Yeah. Up till now, there's not been a lot of the smaller knives. Yeah, Frankie size. Frankie size knives in the budget size. We've got some of the expensive ones. Yeah. Okay. Sure you guys know me. I do like my expensive knives. She's a snob. No, she, you like the budget stuff, yeah, too. Everybody call me a snob. Whatever. From the last video. Uh -huh. All right. They, they've got some smaller knives coming out. Frankie the Parrot, we already handled that at Blade yes, Show. Yes, I do love him. And the engine. The engine looks awesome. It does look cool. I yeah. really, really like that. So some budget knives coming out in a, in a mm -hmm. smaller Frankie The size. Parrot is available on Blade HQ right now. Right now. Speaking of Blade HQ. Why haven't you bought it for me? Because we had to get the Hornet. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 no, speaking of Blade HQ, we'll put a link in. Actually, we'll put a link in to, to Best Tech priced low to high. I'll set oh, it up okay. low to high so you can look for it that way. Um, so you'll see the knives starting, at least right now, at $52 and on up. They've got a lot of them. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, what was I going to say? If you buy using our links, first of all, thank you very much. Yes. That helps us out a little bit. Um, all right. We just sent them a bunch mm -hmm. of stickers. Actually, do you have some right there? We just sent them a bunch of Fred stickers. I forget yes. if we sent them all. Well, and drawings. And bird drawings. A bunch of bird drawings, too. Authentic. Frankie drawn bird drawings. Right. You know how when you ask Blade HQ for a drawing, they'll do it for you? Well, uh -huh. right now, you'll get stuff that's actually from the Birdshot 4 channel. Okay? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. You'll get it uh, You just through. have to request it. Yeah. Request it in the notes when you go to checkout. But thank you for using our links. Yep. All right. <laughs> the Hornet, absolutely recommended. Super cool. Yes. I will get stung by him any day. Weird. That's oddly... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. 